In 2022, we began a study to identify materials used in the Petwise for the exhibition Delighting Krishna, Paintings of the Child God. Petwise are Indian paintings on cotton that can be very large. Our study used scientific imaging and spot analysis to examine the use of pigments in the Petwise and how that changed over time. Scientific imaging involves using different wavelengths of light, including those that are not visible to the human eye, and studying their interaction with the paintings. The resulting images provide information about the materials used across an entire Petwai, where spot analysis can only analyze one spot at a time. To carry out imaging on such large paintings, we collaborated with imaging scientist E. Keats Webb from the Smithsonian's Museum Conservation Institute. Given the Pitchwise large size and fine details, a single image would not be able to record the level of detail that we needed to study the objects. We took as many as 40 detail images of each Pitchwai, 20 for the smaller Pitchwai, by sliding the fragile artworks into place under the camera using a stiff plastic sled. We processed these into a single high resolution image using photogrammetry, a 3D imaging technique that relies on multiple overlapping images of an object. The screen capture of the photogrammetry software shows the camera positions above the painting as blue rectangles. The technique helped correct distortion and stitch the detail images into a high resolution image of the full paintings. When capturing an image, there are several factors that influence what we record. The camera, the lights, and the camera filters. Consumer digital cameras are designed to create images that match what the human eye sees, visible light. However, the sensor at the heart of these cameras is sensitive beyond visible light into the UV or ultraviolet and the IR or infrared, which are invisible to the human eye. The camera we used was modified by removing an internal filter, extending its sensitivity beyond visible light. External filters on the camera and different light sources to illuminate the paintings were chosen for different results. We used four different types of image capture in the study, which generally took two to three hours per pitch wide. First, we recorded visible light images, which are similar to what our eyes can see and are references for the other sets of images. Second, we captured reflected infrared images to look for drawings under the painted surface and to learn more about the pigments. Third, we recorded ultraviolet fluorescent images which provide information about certain pigments and materials and the condition of the painting based on how they fluoresce or absorb the UV light. Fourth, we took a set of images with the camera at slight angles to gather improved 3D information needed for the photogrammetry processing. During imaging, we used reference targets to assist with image processing and color correction. These included pigment samples, as well as color, reflectance, and fluorescent references. The scale bars around the pitch Y help with the photogrammetry processing and allow measurements of pitch Y features. The image sets were stitched into three high resolution images called ortho mosaics, one for each of the types of image capture visible light, infrared, and UV fluorescence. Overlaying the ortho mosaics allows us to easily compare one feature between the IR, UV, and visible images to gain more insight about the materials and making process of these paintings. We can combine the information from scientific imaging with spot analysis to firmly identify the pigments. From UV fluorescence imaging, we knew that the blue pigment used to paint Krishna and other blue areas on this petroi fluoresced a faint blue suggesting it could contain ultramarine. Fiber optic reflectance spectroscopy, or FORS, is a non-invasive technique that allows us to precisely measure which wavelengths of light a pigment absorbs and which it reflects. Many pigments have their own distinct FORS spectrum. By comparing the Petroy spectrum to the spectra of known reference materials, we confirmed ultramarine in the blue paint. 
Combining scientific imaging with a few different spot analysis techniques, we were able to identify more than 15 different pigments on the Petrowise in the exhibition, developing a timeline of pigment changes from the 18th to the 20th century.